All right, welcome to 119, the big project. I'm going to break this up into a lot of videos. This first video is going to cover the investigate and idea section where we're just brainstorming and explaining the project, especially for my students, but it should work for everyone. So what do you do in this project? You're going to plan, design, and create an artistic artifact using your Python programming skill to manipulate turtles. So you're going to use everything used in this, these previous lessons where we got to draw stuff and fill in colors and use turtles moving around and you get to create whatever you want. Like have some fun with this folks. You should be, you should be doing something that you enjoy, something interesting to you. I uh, hope you get a lot of time to do this. Be creative. All right. Have some fun. That's the most important part of this is do something that you enjoy and you're having fun creating. And I'm gonna show you my idea later. All right, uh, so the development process, okay. This is kind of your development. Sometimes we call this the design process. It's the design process. In engineering, we call it the design process. That's what PLTW says, the design process. But now we're the development process. Is that the same in the other PLTW classes? I don't know. Maybe they rebranded. Maybe this is the programming way. I don't know. Okay. No. So you investigate, you plan, you design, create and test, evaluate, document, present. I thought that's the design process. Whatever. So what we're going to start off is, I guess that's the plan. We're going to investigate ideas. I like calling that brainstorming. Then we kind of, okay, we come up with an idea. Then we got to plan that idea out. All right? So come up, brainstorm, pick an idea. We're going to plan how we're going to break it down. Then we just do it, create, design it. And then, hey, you want to test it out. And then when you're kind of done, you see, oh, does that solution work? And then you present that. Now, I don't think it's that easy in programming. It's not like... Oh, I designed this and I create the whole thing in test. Uh, we're going to talk about how to really break that down. Like the one thing like in programming, you can't, don't expect to just, oh, program it all at once and hit play and it works. Uh, the, we'll talk about it next time, but you really want to be able to chunk it down and start with the simple stuff first, like one part at a time. And then when that works, add on something. And if you don't do it that way, because you got to keep testing that your code works. Like you, you want to add simple things at a time and then get it, build it up. That's the best way to approach this. So we'll, we'll break that down next time. So let's investigate. So what are the requirements for this? Now, PLTW says it should have create a variety of shapes and produce a unique, something unique. So we've learned how to make shapes like circles, lines, cir uh, curves, part of a circle, polygons. Um, you can stamp the turtles on there. You can change them different sizes. So use that stuff. Use color and size variations to enhance it. Yeah, so make it colorful. Now use different colors. But, okay. Use movement to enhance it. So movement would be good if you have something moving to create it. Maybe it's always moving. Maybe the colors keep changing. I don't know. That could be cool. Uh, use iteration looping and conditional execution if statements to control the drawing. So it'd be nice like if you used if statements somewhere on there, if you use while loops or for loops in there, that's what it's looking for. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep reading this and I'm gonna do my thoughts. To help you in creating your work, use existing turtle methods, what you've learned, use descriptive variable names, and comment your code. All right, so I don't, the way I'd say with this, folks, like you should make something that you have fun with. And I'm gonna tell my class like, Look, if you can't, if you're making something cool, but you can't figure out how to fit an if statement in there, don't, don't do it. Make it look good. Make it look something that you're proud of. Don't worry too much on forcing a, a while loop in there or a for loop in there. You want some help on that, like ask, ask those questions. But I want you to make something interesting for you. If you make something that doesn't have movement, because you couldn't figure out what to move and you didn't think it looked good, don't have movements. Fine. I want you to do something that you would like. 
and it looks good. Like, do a, if you do a better job in, in making it look a variety of colors and stuff and do really good work here, you don't really have much here, great. Uh, here's things. I would really like to see a lot of comments, and I think that'd be really good where you explain what's going on with your code. Your variable use, make sure the names um, represent something. That's kind of what we did in buggy code. I think 116 talked about having good variable names. And you can use the existing stuff, but if you want to use stuff that you find online, that's great. Or if you have a question, ask. Like, so one thing that's not in here is they didn't mention doing any input. We learned that early on. I believe it's going to be in this next section, 1.2, because that's where we start doing games and stuff, and that's usually where there's input. But if you want to have input, go for it. You know? Uh, maybe you want to have mouse. I, we haven't done how to do mouse clicks. I don't know if you can. But maybe it's in this 1.2, or maybe I can look it up online. I kind of want to use mouse clicks, but we'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, brainstorm a few ideas. So what we're doing today, brainstorm some ideas. I'm going to say at least three. If you're doing this with the group, I'm going to let you pair up, do it alone. I don't care. Replit's great. You can collaborate. Just give some ideas. No, no stupid ideas when you do that. Just brainstorm. And then I want you to pick one of those. Evaluate what you like. Choose one, one that you like. And then bring your idea out. So my class, I'm asking you, who's in your group? Brainstorm ideas. Pick at least three. And then pick one. Like, what's your plan? Maybe you have some sketches. Give me some details. I'll look these over. If I don't like it. Or, like, I think maybe I'll come up with questions. Of course I'll like it. But I might ask some clarifying questions to help guide you. All right? So just for this first part, that's what we're doing for today's lesson. In the future, we'll talk about breaking it down. That'll be the next one. And then we'll talk about designing it. All right? So let's see how do you brainstorm. Come up with dumb ideas. So start using. I'm going to brainstorm. What do I want to do? I like using something that already exists. Sometimes I like doing a parody of, of something that exists. So like when we did Scratch last year. Oh, I got to show you. We did a scavenger hunt in a certain teacher's room, someone else. Because years ago, we hit a bunch of temporary tattoos of another teacher in her room. Like we broke in, or she left to go to the bathroom, and I had all the students like hide them everywhere. She got really mad. So I recreated that in Scratch. I showed her the Scratch game. She got mad again. Oh, well. So make something. I like doing this. So I'm going to give an idea. Maybe I'll do like the school logo. Because I, I did that earlier on with like the first few projects. I don't know. I'll put a video up. Maybe i make the logo better. Uh, what other ideas? Um, I don't know. I, I like what. So I think of like what would be something funny to draw. You know what? I know something I like to draw. I like to find inspiration from other sources that are relevant to the year 2020. Maybe you do that. Maybe something with the coronavirus. I don't know. But here's where I'm going to get my inspiration. Let's go. Do some free play. All right. So I want to take... I could just make, like, the character dude, right? Maybe I uh, have some tasks. Not going live to Steam. Bye. There we go. All right. So I'm going to turn on some tasks. Every task. Give myself everything. Maybe you want to just draw a picture of an among a crewmate. I don't care. Maybe with different costumes on. I don't care what you do. That might be fun. Just going to give every task to myself so we can look around. I'm guessing the next lesson is about games. So then I can just make the different tasks, different games. And I'm going to try ideas this way. All right. Oh, geez. Hide that. 
So what can I do? Okay. I can take this one. So maybe I take this, you know, like, just recreate the scene. And then, you know, where the leaves kind of fall down a little bit, especially when you get on here. You want it's like movement. This might be cool to see like the leaves fall down. I don't know. They don't have to be rustling. You can have them rustle a little bit. That, I don't know if, how that would work. And then maybe when I do a game, I have it pull. Or maybe you just, I mean, you could just have this animation going by. Just of downloading something. I don't know. That'd be kind of neat. Hey, what's up? I'm recording, but yeah, it's fine. I'll pause. Oh. Okay, back to work. All right, so let's look at tasks. Okay, maybe I do the trash one. The lasers might be kind of fun, but it involves clicking, and I don't know how to make the clicks yet. I don't know if you can with Pygame and with Python, what we have. I don't know. That's just an upload. So maybe, okay, maybe I do the trash. Throwing the leaves in, but that, that still involves clicking, so I don't know about that. What's this one? Oh, another trash? Okay. Nothing up here, is there? You can do... Oh, this is where you just drag it over. Again, that's a clicking, but it might be neat, like, you use, like, arrow keys or something to go directions. I don't know. But, see, a lot, so there's a lot of clicking things. So if I want to make something interactive, maybe you just want to make... If I were to do this, I can just draw a picture of an imposter. Like, this might be neat if I can figure out clicking. That's very simple. I don't know. Or if you wanted to... Oh, com, I, don't, I didn't enable comms. Or, uh, one thing I was actually thinking about was... So, a lot of different ideas we can do. I don't want to do this one. I think this would be re neat just to recreate this scene. I think I'm going to do this as my project. Now, this game, you have to click this button. I'm not good at this at all. Oh, gosh. Too old. I don't have the reflexes. I think that would be neat just to have those spinning because there's some movement right there and there's circles. So I think the circle movement won't be as hard to make. I mean, you could, you could do, okay, these would be dumb. We could do wires too. Maybe I do, maybe the Simon Says task or something. What's the task over here? Task. Oh, that one, we drag it. And there's something else over here I didn't enable. It's over here. Oh. Maybe we want to do Simon Says. So the neat thing with, the thing of this is like, it, this might be neat in the game when we talk about like random stuff, which I assume it's going to do later. I oh, wasn't paying attention. Like that might be a neat thing to recreate. Or hey, you just recreate this thing. I don't know. So maybe I try that. So I don't know. Just some of the ideas I have. I'm going to play with. Maybe do a med base scan. What could I do? Okay, okay, this could be cool. Like you just do the med bay filling those up as like your artwork. Just recreate this. Maybe you do the scan, I don't know. So, I don't know, those are ideas. All right, we're gonna leave game. So, that's what I'm playing with. I think I wanna do the electrical spinny one. And that's my idea. And I'll make it move. What are you going to do? Go ahead and let me know in the comments. Thank you.